What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, well, first off, <laughs> if this is your first time here, thanks for being here. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and I offer a plethora of different services. You can check that out in the description box below at the website. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are going to do something a little different. It's been a minute. Um, I had to, so recently, this full moon that we just experienced was very interesting to me. It forced me in this space to really um, affirm a lot of things, to let go of a lot of things, you know, and really, okay, so, um, this full moon in Aries, it was conjunct Chiron, which are both conjunct my sun, my Venus, my Mercury. Okay, so that was very interesting. Had some really old stuff come up that I did not realize was still, you know, you can heal from something and still be holding on to the imprint of it. And I just so happened to be in the right environment and have the right circumstances for those things to come up at this time, of course. But that is... Um, the beauty and things being so divine. You're always in the right place at the right time. So <clears throat> what I figured is that coming out of that energy, coming out of that, um, that really self-reflective energy, because that's really what that full moon was with Aries, you know, um, really seeing things for what they are seeing ourselves for what they really are where it is that we are right now right and i was like oh an affirmation read will be a great thing to offer at this time so what we have here is a candle fixed candle um it is red clover roses and basil so lots of protection lots of i uh, um pray for self-love for um for seeing the self, understanding the self, connecting to one's um, higher knowing and higher um, higher feeling, right? Higher abilities to connect with oneself, divine connection, right? Purple is a lot about divine connection, okay? It's a very healing energy, a very healing color. And I dress it in some road opener oil in these particular herbs and, you know, just prayed over them, blessed them. And for the collective of you guys who are going to be here with me today as we do this reading. So what we're going to do before we get started with this read is uh, light this candle. And after we light this candle, we're going to read this petition and get started with this reading, okay? So I really hope this blesses y'all. I hope this is something that you enjoy. Um, yeah, and if it is, let me know, and I'll do more of this. So, thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Okay, so take a few deep breaths. And if you hear any noise in the background, that is my son. He's next to us playing a game, okay? Take about three deep breaths in. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Divine consciousness, source, ancestors, Holy Spirit, that offer harmony, love, protection, provision, stability, calm through any storm, solutions in times of upheaval, clarity, truth, open roads, dispels obstacles, and shows us the way. We thank you. <clears throat> those that are here come in gratitude for all all that is done and continue to be done may the understanding action and feeling be brought forth that pushes those receiving this love into alignment with all they affirm today all that is affirmed here today 
Allow the steps to be clear, the connections to be pure. We recognize our worth and embody this fully. Where there is disconnection, may your presence be the reminder to connect because we know that connection is the only way for what is here to be seen, for what is to come to manifest. May our affirmations become us and we become them and the blessings of such be embraced and be with all that is and receives and be with all of those who receive us in our presence. Asha. So you guys, let's get started with this reading. Okay, so the herbs on this candle promote a lot of connection with um, our abilities to connect with our clairs, right? And in, in connecting with our clairs, this allows us to um, move forward in and connect even more with the alignment it is that we are needing in order to embody our affirmations, right? What it is that we are affirming. So I have two decks that I've put together. Oh, look, they so they're by the same um, people, but two different types of affirmations. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see what messages Spirit has for us at this time in reference to our affirmations, what we need to know, perhaps what steps we need to make to take any guidance it is that we're needing in life, in love, um, in money, even, right? You know, spiritual walk. Spirit ancestors, what we all like to do, you know, like this time. Okay. So it's important for us to really be in this space of uh, having a compassionate heart, right? And being very generous with our time, with our energy, in the ways that um, we see fit, you know, what it is that uh, we may not, there may be times where we're feeling like we are um, not sure that we have enough, right? But knowing and just continuing forward and being able to um, give, even if it's something small, even if it's just a smile, even if it's just a hug, right? The first card that we have coming out here is generosity, okay? So we may be connecting a lot with uh, feminine women, feminine energies, um, or connecting with our feminine. It may be our feminine uh positions or the feminine energy in our life that's going to help support us in connecting with ourselves in the ways that we need to uh, in manifesting these affirmations that we are seeking for ourselves for our life okay and really um, moving us forward and it's important for us to have compassion you know compassion for people and their differences compassion for where people are with themselves right everybody is not in the same place uh or at the same rate at the same speed or anything for that matter right and being in this space of warmth right so warmth and generosity really go hand in hand we may be receiving a lot of this energy from people who we are close with right so there may be people being very generous, very compassionate, very warm. We may be seeing this being reflected to us by way of the affirmations it is that we are allowing to lead us in our life, what we are attempting to embody at this time, right? Because good things are to come, okay? Something that we are not aware of, and it is just um, a matter of um, divine timing. Okay, we are in alignment. We are where it is that we need to be at this time, right? It's just uh, our need to wait and see and see what it, and, and let life run its course. Let life 
do what it is that it's going to do how it's going to do it right and, and but being the active role it is that we're needing to be within it at this time okay so when things get tough when things get hard learn to laugh at it right let things look <laughs> getting into that place of um seeing things for what they truly are, right? And not necessarily for what it is that we are trying to make them out to be, okay? But not what it is that um, our imagination has, um, or our fantasy mind has created, right? That we don't necessarily know the truth of. It is when we see the truth of the matter that we have the ability to laugh at what is, what has been, Right, or maybe we just need really need to spend some time with people who make us feel really good, jolly, and joyful. Okay, and spend some time. Maybe we need to go watch a comedy, see a comedy, go to a comedy show. I don't know, but you know, when the thing that we are desiring comes about, it may bring a laughing moment for us. Right, what it is that we are affirming for ourselves, it may give us the, a reason to laugh out of for a while, like all this time right but it's going to take for us to stay in a state of curiosity of wonder of awe, like oh my goodness right I, i've waited on this i wanted this and it's here right so it's like even when things start to the upheavals right it's like can you be curious within that? Can you ask, okay, what is this, right? What is this happening? What's really here? What's here for me? Am I learning something? How, where am I growing within this, right? Or is this something I just need to walk away from, right? Sometimes everything doesn't require all of those things. Sometimes it requires us to just face the facts and move on, right? But it's our curiosity that's going to give us a reason to celebrate Maybe we're celebrating other people. Perhaps we are celebrating ourselves, but um, it is all happening within divine timing that these things are taking place, right? Find it. what I'm getting is don't spend so much time not doing. It's like be active, be activated, be in motion, be you know, moving forward in your acts, right? Being kind and all of those things, everything that comes with that, because even sometimes the ability to help someone is a gift, right? The the feeling that we get from being able to help another is a gift, you know? it It's only when we are seeing things through the eyes of, oh, I don't want to do this, does it manifest as something treacherous, right? Now, all of a sudden, we feel some kind of way that we just had to do this. And it's just like, well, you know, you could have just not did it. <laughs> but if we could take the time to be curious and wonder what is possible, the what ifs, what and, and what the maybes, the yes ands, okay? And allowing that to move forward and push us forward in ways that, uh, give us reasons to celebrate but just wait and see because it's coming it's coming um i can't say when divine timing though divine this season for sure yes, it's here. And we also need to learn how to really celebrate other people for real. Um, you know, when you can really celebrate somebody and where they are and what they got going on, does that energy return to you? But if your first response is jealousy um, or hatred, that is going to bring forth the the type of energetic components that you have to do with the experiences in your life right so let's say you could be a good person right but every time somebody around you has something good going on for them your first response your first reaction is jealousy it's not like 
oh yes i'm so happy for you like you know you don't see that god is in the neighborhood <laughs> you feel like you like what about me like i'm just gonna be where i'm at forever and in reality it's like no can you be compassionate with yourself can you be generous with yourself and give you what you need can you uh show a sense of warmth and comfort and nourishing to yourself right and allow and make space for those good things to come right because one thing about time itself it doesn't exist so what i've as I've grown, as I've lived and experienced what I've seen divine timing as is this ability to be able to um, be in the space that we are needing to be in to align to the timing, to the divine, for real, because divine timing is always at play. It's only a matter of how it is that we showing up within this going forth to align to this right it's like what are you doing how how are you going about this but two um sea monsters actually fell out and one is the great sea serpent and the other one is the great sea monster all right so we got monsters and serpents here okay so this is like some really deep subconscious energy that is getting um taking place getting cleansed being removed right um the great sea serpent is about healthiness right so this is about taking care of your body doing what it is that you need to be doing are you exercising are you eating right it's, to this point it's like <laughs> are you eating Right. And then once you're eating, are you eating well? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you making sure you're getting your nutrients? Are you making sure that you are getting um, your sources of those small, tiny, remember the generosity, the small things like, right? So the vitamins, the minerals, um, the herbs, maybe you need some herbs. All right. Maybe you need some collagen. Maybe you need um, those small things that we don't really think about. Okay. Maybe you need some squats. <laughs> all right maybe you need more hugs more love maybe connection with people is a healthy thing for you okay so i'm gonna read the great sea serpent and the great sea monster because they want to be heard evidently okay so the great sea serpent it says healthiness the great sea serpent representing wisdom of the deep and superior Spiritual riches predicts that, like you, you have the gift of foresight, representing a hidden treasure that intimates that you discover the truth of a situation by intuition. A revelation will restore your faith and dismiss having to sacrifice your dreams for practical reasons. As guardian of the springs, what is this? As guardian of the springs of life and eternity, it shows that you will begin a new relationship or way of life, free from past constraints. You will soar to the higher happiness. You will soar to higher happiness. I'm sorry, y'all. There will be an unexpected change, improving all aspects of your life. Enjoy your unfolding future, full of bright opportunities and genuine people. Okay, so 37. 37 the great sea monster speaks about triumphing right so it says you can conquer a potentially bad situation and prevent it from worsening by taking action the great sea monster symbolic of cosmic forces one step away from chaos indicates that danger can be averted it represents the freeing of unconscious powers Freeing of consciousness from the grip of dark unconscious powers that might grow into monstrous activity by a balanced unpsyche you will achieve a heroic victory by the light of your consciousness triumphing over the darkness of your subconscious. Anyone with improper intentions against you and all that is good and right will be slain. There is more than one way to solve a dilemma. Search in the right way will appear. So some of you guys may also be needing to uh, learn how to do things your own way, right? Um, figuring out what it is that you are needing to do for yourself to accomplish your dreams right what what is the uniqueness within you that is going to allow you to um become you to be you to become what it is that you are farming in your life right are you simply being yourself 
is the question. Okay, it's like show for yourself and see how it is that these things are reflecting for you and from you and what sense it is, I guess we could say, is being made of by what you're observing. Can you choose to be the observer? Instead of always thinking you know or trying to figure it out or um right, you don't have to read to find out everything. You some things are literally just simply within and cannot be uh, seen any other way, cannot be connected to or embraced any other way outside of connection with what's taking place within. What else is here? Magnolia. This is such a beautiful card. She's the number 21, so that's world energy. Okay, so there is definitely success and victory, achievement, the ending of something, the completion of things taking place. Uh, but the Magnolia, she asks us to focus. Maybe we are needing to correct our attitude by some way. Um, and uh, perhaps we may find ourselves in a lot of, a place of a lot of judgment of others as well and really needing to focus on ourselves right is like a maybe the judgment is coming from a sense of comparison even if that is something perhaps that maybe that's Perhaps that is why the generosity, compassion, and warmth cards are coming up so strongly. Like if you don't already genuinely be in these energies, perhaps it's important for you to uh, do what you need to do to connect with that, right? What does that look like for you to genuinely be generous, to genuinely be compassionate? And when I say genuinely, I mean without any type of motive, without um, feeling like you have to do this right or um feeling like that you have to or any type of like manipulation or um feeling like that you have to if you don't show up like this then you're not going to receive or get or be seen as something it's just really important to be oneself okay so the magnolia she says delicate pink and white flowers stands in the in air's breath. Could it possibly be as beautiful and serene as it appears? The reality is yours to create. How are you designing your reality? How are you designing your reality? Is your life unfolding the way you wish it to? Is it what others see a clear representation? Is what others see a clear representation of who you really are? Do you live from your authentic self? Where do you place your attention on negatives or positives? Remember that you attract that which you focus on. Your focus is what creates your reality. Learn to trust in your good. Know that it exists. Know that you are worthy of all that is wonderful and abundant simply because you exist. Acknowledge that you are loved and treasured by spirit. Breathe in the lovely scent of the magnolia as you do. Know that you are breathing in, breathing in the breath of spirit. Think clearly about what it is you wish to manifest in your life. Place your focus on the things you desire. It does not matter if they are on a material or spiritual realm. Both serve to teach us to love ourselves and others. And it says try on someone else's glasses today. And most of the time, we're not seeing ourselves how other people see us, you know. And that can be for good or for bad, honestly. And the chant says, I believe in the love of spirit. I believe in my good. I am abundant in all things. Life rewards me at every turn. I am good. I am part of God. I am one with all that is. I should never want. I create life with trust and with joy. So be it. So it was saying, it had mentioned something about, um, knowing that you are breathing with spirit, that is the breath of spirit. So a practice I was recently taught is um, when you're breathing, imagine that you're breathing in the exhale of source. And when you breathe out, you are, the source is inhaling. So it's an exchange of energy, an exchange of sameness, of oneness, you know. Breathing with the Holy Spirit. What else is here? 
What are the messages that you have for those? Here. Reading. What else is here? So we have new moon and Aquarius bring love into the situation. So maybe you have uh, tried to detach yourself um, when it comes to your emotions or uh, maybe there has been something like some disdain in reference to what it is that you're needing to do, right? Or that's needing to take place in order for certain things to come about, right? Again, that whole drudgerous energy, like not really feeling it the way, um, the feeling that needs to be invested in trying to bring things to light, right? And Aquarius is all about like the long-term goals, maybe um, this has to do with friendships and groups and organizations that you're part of. Maybe that's something that you're wanting to build. Maybe you are just really focused on your long-term goals, right? Your large gains. Maybe you're trying to get some money for real. Whatever it is, love is needing to be brought into the situation. Like being very unconditional with things and how you see that. Like what is what is God trying to tell you? What is trying to be heard here that is being ignored right focus listen connecting with those clairs with the spirit self of your being okay what else is here Okay, yeah, so somebody, somebody's not being themselves, not being, this is a lot about authenticity, this reading, right? So when it comes to affirmations and you're wanting them to manifest, it's like, are these affirmations even in alignment with um, who it is that you truly are? Are you affirming to be, come or be something or be part of something? That's not you. Where are you hiding the truth of you? Where are you wearing masks and not being truly who it is that you are? Like being okay and feeling safe to be you for real. Like what, what type of illusions and spells are you casting here? Okay, this says um this is jumpy. Jumbies are the scary shadowy other world spirits and monsters of the Caribbean. The element is air, right? So it's a lot about our words, our thoughts, how we think and speak of ourselves. Um, her guidance says, where's the lie? Get quiet to get clear. Put your hand on your heart. No. Now, are you confused? Are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Her embodiment says, show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you are wearing a mask, Dare to reveal yourself. You are lying to others and to yourself. Wearing a mask is exhausting. Be you. If someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a projection of your own. This says, I am willing to remove the mask. So bring love into the situation. Be you, right? Communicate. Uh, I just, again, I just, Okay, so we're going to see where your personal power is within this, what you need to be aware of. Focus on you. I am ready. Are you ready to be seen? Are you ready to be heard for who it is that you are? Like, be very honest with yourself. Be very honest with others. Um, 
be very honest with others, right? But that first takes to being honest with yourself. We have here, I deserve respect, okay? Um, so know that it's important for uh, you to be seen. It's important for you to put yourself first so that everything um, can work out in the ways in which you are affirming them to be, them to do so. You know, I was saying uh, that I recently just had a situation where I had to take off my mask, right? Um, not that I was intentionally trying to hide, but it was a part of myself that I've never shown before, right? Because I can, sometimes I can be in spaces and not be being vulnerable, uh, not really being open about who it is that I, that I am, right? And how I see things, how I perceive things. And it's really important for us to be willing to do that because that opens the door for progress to be made, for um, inspiration to be gained, or what it is that we are needing to or trying to see and comprehend to be received and heard and seen, you know? So what is the self-care for these lovely folks? Self-care, you guys, treat. So treat yourself, you know, have a parfait, eat your favorite fruit, okay? Maybe you want to get a snack. Instead of one snack, you want two, okay? I, I don't know. However you want to do this, okay? But yes, make sure that you are treating yourself. And at the bottom, we have pamper. So, you know, taking care of yourself, getting your hair done. Getting, maybe you want to get a facial. Maybe you want to do your own hair. Maybe you want to do your own facial. Maybe you want to do your nails, okay? Maybe you want to go get a massage, I don't know, whatever the full umbrella of pamper, all the things that fall under there, you go do that, okay? Take the time to do that. So we're going to pull before that, pull one of these Work Your Light Oracle cards. And then we're going to pull two tarot cards just to close it out. See what insight and guidance that the tarot is giving for us. What is this here? Don't dim your light to fit in, okay? So it says, how have you been dimming, dimming your light in order to fit in? Again, right, that wearing the mask is a dimming of the light, all right? Can you be your full the fullness of you, the fullness of yourself, all of you, your whole self, you deserve respect and respect is received when you fully show up, right, and doing whatever it is that you are ready to do at this time, in this moment, in this space, who are you hiding away from? The same compassion and warmth that you give to others, give that to yourself. Be curious and find out if you showed up in that, what that, what happens, what happens. Be, do it and see. Yeah, that energy is strong right now. So we got the grandchildren, okay? So this is definitely about happiness, about joy, fulfillment, bliss, for things to manifest, oh, right? Mm -hmm. It just did it on its own. Um, somebody else probably opened a door in here. So, yes, one door is closing for another one to open. And this is the door that's leading us to our future, right? To whatever legacy means for you, what that feels like for you, you know, and where you're going to take that moving forward. A lot of Aquarius energy. So this may have a lot to do with um, connections and community for a lot of us but others it may just be us you know really being in that autonomous state of being like uh, fitting in is like fitting in but standing out right doing what you love but doing it your own kind of way being very unique in your approach to things whether that is love business work Okay. So business and work isn't always synonymous. Um, 
mothering, right? Maybe how you keep your home, even your connections. Clarify those grandchildren. But letting, yeah. So we have grandchildren being clarified by the Four of Cups. So it's going to take some self awareness for this to come about, right? And really see the love one has for it itself. This is not necessarily about love with another. It can be, right? But it, it begins with within, with us, right? And um, we are supported. We, you guys, we, you know, are supported within this. You know, there's a unicorn here. So again, it's a lot about uh, tapping into that oneness, that our psychic abilities are understanding right that may be stagnant for us right now maybe we have been focused on the wrong things okay um right needing to come back to the heart and get very grounded and rooted in who it is that we are maybe we need to go back to our roots right to see maybe we need to return back to the time when we were the grandchildren granted we we're always the grandchildren but um where we were the little children, right? And really connecting with that. And, and um, maybe there's something within that that is time for that cycle to end so that something new can begin. The affirmations will only root and take place when we move beyond one space into another. Because these are words that we are, are putting out into the universe, into reality. Right, so that they can come back and bounce on and into us, and we become that. Right, but it takes a sense of being aware of what that is within us, what that looks like with us, noticing that even that one word that looks a certain way in one person is not going to look the same way for us. Right, and being very clear, very sure of who we are, right, who we autonomously are. What does our sovereign be like? What does it look like? What it feel like? Okay. And making sure that you are connecting spiritually, right? Whatever, again, that looks like for you. Okay, you guys. So um, where the energy has been stilled, right? And also, if there are places where there are people who are trying to help you, you might want to be open to that because in not being open to this that may be um deterring your progress forward right like at a neutral stagnant space in a sense right this is a wait and see moment right but at the same time things have to have to continue on have to continue forward maybe plans need to be put into pre preparation right maybe um all right, you needing some structure, needing to get some stability, or uh, maybe things need to get practical in some sense, okay? And not just be, oh, I'm going to do this this time, I'm going to do it. Try it, but it didn't have no plan, right? So, yeah, write it down, y'all. Make it real. Speak it when you wake up, when you go to bed, all right? Say you a good prayer, and I hope this blesses you. Okay, you guys, I am going to allow y'all to witness the rest of this candle burning down, and I will see y'all next time. Bye for now. Real quick, y'all, so I'm actually going to let this candle go ahead and burn down. I won't record it, um, but I will leave a few notes in the description box below in how it burnt down so you guys can know and be aware of that. All right, talk to you soon.